on board here, board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Okay, here's what's going down right now. You see what was just said by one named All Might, in which he was just about to ask him that, that question. You know, you're going to pop the question, you can I be a hero without a quirk? Only difference is, Izuku's baby reflexes weren't strong enough, and he didn't cling on to All Might. Nope, not this time. So, Sludge Villain didn't get away. All Might doesn't know Izuku's quirk less, I guess. As well as Izuku never really got answered to his question. I don't even get to ask a question. But this actually sparked some inspiration for the boy. Seeing how All Might's quirk is so powerful, and though yes, quirks can change someone's appearance, he's not completely dumb as like thinking, like, okay, so maybe I've been slacking all these years just waiting to suddenly gain a quirk or whatever okay that's my bad so what's he do he starts training luckily they go beach he still goes there sees all the trash the garbage but also sees uh you know a neglected <laughs> weightlifting set pretty much barbells dumbbells all the like loose weights yeah, if anything, perfect. And when it comes to him actually using the beach, besides, you know, weightlifting, running on sand is one of the most... It's not easy at all. So this is how Izuku's training while he's cleaning up the place, throwing away the garbage. When something seems like it could be salvaged, he takes it to a proper place and gets it fixed or donates it depending on how he feels and this is let's say eight months into the ten months training arc he's just going through some trash in which he starts ruffling through some interesting equipment and then he just gets a case and sees like what is this a jewelry box? Him opening it, he sees the green chaos emerald. Him thinking, wow, this is beautiful, but maybe someone's looking for it. As he takes hold of it. At first, he doesn't feel anything until a surge of chaos energy starts to develop him, and he feels good. The only thing is, he slowly notices, wait, this, this feels wrong as he's absorbing more of it. He just puts it back in the box and closes it. Here's the thing. Eggman, at least Dr. Robotnik, used one Chaos Emerald to break the Earth into seven pieces. He did that with one of them. That's the kind of potential power Izuku has. At least... Something he got a taste of. As you can imagine, he's freaking out, but he also feels... Hell, he's been he technically healed of all fatigue, stress. You know, yeah, that weird gemstone did give him a fright. He knows this, the right thing to do was probably to give it to someone. Or at least find out who probably threw it away by mistake. Because something like this... Just or someone's missing it. So he does report to the police. He puts up posters. And he does wait the allowed time. Before uh, he says, okay, I guess no one wants it. 
which I forget. What, what is the limit before you can claim something is yours? Oh, wait, that's right. Abandonment. And we consider the fact that Digma Beach has been piling on trash for years. Heck, if they missed it, apparently it must not have been that important to them to begin with. <laughs> so, yeah. Izuku ends up being able to keep it. Though, the authorities are wondering, what are you going to do with it? Well, I mean, it's a beautiful stone, but why would you... Like, do you have a girlfriend or something? Like, him being still embarrassed? Like, no, it's just... It seems special. As they just take it as that, and Izuku leaves with it. When he does tell Inko about this thing, she is obviously surprised. Prize, but wait, what about this thing? As yes, Izuku is hesitant to share this with his mom, but also he's gonna have to explain something as he has Inko grab hold of it. Just then, as she feels power enveloped in her, she starts to go to prime Inko formation. Izuku didn't expect this at all, as he just takes the stone back and puts it back in the box. Inko is shocked as all hell, like, how did this happen? But, I, I don't know, maybe it's magic. Magic's not real. Then how do you explain this? Okay, I got nothing. So, was Izuku, especially the second months, at least the last two months, he's pretty much enjoying this new landscape. He's cleaned it to pristineness. Some people have started to come back, and though Izuku has again offers to help, he's he's good. If anything, he's pretty much like, this is training for me. I want to be a, a hero. But before they ask him what his quirk is, he's, there is a, quite a fright. As Izuku notices something running right behind them, and he accidentally tosses a chaos spear. And yeah, it was a cat. So he is a. He's working with the cat, but he's also like, wait, wait, what did I just do? Then like, um, I think we need to take that to the, as Izuku runs in and picks up the cat. He's apologizing, he's about to run it straight to the veterinarian, but then it starts to slowly heal. As soon as it looks at him, it's scared, but also feels calm in his arms. Izuku is shocked at this, as are the people who do and have seen this. Okay, so now I wonder what else I can do. Him just looking at the jewelry box. Huh. Interesting. As now? He wants to test out his new power for these last two months, in which he has gained not only chaos energy manipulation, but also he can fly, he's super strong huh. when it comes to speed. I say he's on par with Ida right now. He hasn't absorbed much of the energy when you really think about it, so, eh. But one thing he doesn't get is What's going on with this rock, at least gem? And then he decides to see more about it, or at least test out this weird gem he found. And is hell lucky enough to actually come across, to be completely honest, somewhere more secluded. Because, like I said, more people start to show up. Though he, he's not really minding it, he doesn't want to end up hurting anyone if he discovers a dangerous power. In which, 
Yeah, he goes into the woods. But he soon notices something's off. As he just lays down on the grass, he knows his way. Why is it getting taller all of a sudden? Every few increments, as he's touching it, the grass is growing and starting to move as his hand does. But then something else weird transpires in which something just reaches out and grabs him. Him being scared shitless. This thing has his claws dug into him. As he sees a, it is a dog. A great dame. And if anyone knows how big those things are, yeah. This is when Izuku realizes something. This... Whatever it is, it gave him the power of life. Which explains the plants, explains how he's able to heal, or how Inko was able to be revitalized to the point where she is at her prime self. Knowing this, and knowing that this thing could bring things back to life, he's... He knows what he has to do. He has to make sure that no one bad gets their hands on it. But then he thinks about it. With this power, I could be a hero. But he also wonders, like, but if I keep it, that means someone could take it from me. So I find that he has no early idea what to really do here. He is terrified at the applications that this thing actually had. Like, bringing people back from the dead, for one? Yeah, that's terrifying. Healing and all that, that's great and all, but... Yeah, yeah, we don't need no one coming back from the dead. So he looks at this dog in which it's on guard with him because it doesn't know him. It's though calmer, it's still I'm sorry. As Izuku shoots down the dog with Chaos Spear. And that is all And that is pretty much uh, the ending of Old Yeller but with Great Dane. Shame. But either way, now it's time for entrance exam. Izuku does see Bakugo, in which Bakugo is shocked to see that Izuku still decided to come. But he also brushes him aside, he's like, oh, oh well, just fail already, and, and that's pretty much it. Izuku doesn't trip, he doesn't fall, he had plenty of time to study. All he has to do, at least worry about, is the practical. Destroying robots, gaining points. This is easy enough for him. It's when the zero point shows up that he loses it. He doesn't have the Chaos Emerald with him at all. He's adored just enough so he's at least more than capable of taking it on. But when he sees Oraka trapped, about to get smushed, he loses it and places his hands on the grass, in which they turn into colossal vines, ripping and tearing apart the Zero Pointer. It is utter mercilessness of machinery. So, yes. Everyone is shocked at this because, if anything, all he displayed was his flying, his Chaos Energy Manipulation, which he mainly used Chaos Spears. And Super Strength. That's it! The whole plant manipulation life thing, he has not shown that off. Him looking around, he sees everyone staring at him and all in so much admiration and fear. He's... I'm sorry. 
but he does run up to Oraka, in which he does heal her, and uh, her seeing the green hue that's emanating from him and going into her, she can't help but feel all warm and fuzzy inside. So, if anything, she already contracted feelings for him this way. Easy peasy. Now, when it comes to the first day of UA, Izuku is very nervous. Though, he knows he has a powerful, well, power. Him actually qual just uh, saying it's a quirk and everything is difficult for him. Oh yes, it would be considered one. It's kind of weird when you consider the fact that. Okay, so this gemstone is a lot more special than I thought, and I can't risk anyone else getting their hands on it. So he, wherever he can, he takes it with him. And though, yes, Inko does know about it, she agrees with him that this thing is dangerous if it does everything you really said it does, especially if it can bring people back from death. So, you can just imagine. Izuku see Bakugo, Bakugo being pissed because Izuku did beat him by two points. So yeah, Bago's already pissed. When it comes to Ida, he's pretty much impressed that Izuku not only did so well, but his speed is impressive. Yeah, him being able to fly and all this. Whoa, just no real words. When Oraka shows up, she is trying her best, trying to be as nonchalant but trying not to be overly awkward but failing Izuku pretty much being kind of uh are you okay yeah I uh just, as yeah Izuku when it comes to him all I can say is he is not as nervous around girls if anything, through him actually being able to train at Digaba Beach, he has met a fair amount of a white men who particularly like uh, two-piece swimsuits. So he's pretty much been a, a little more accustomed to it. He just never really asked for a number, sadly. Such wasted opportunities. But this is when he, he pretty much... Forgets about Oraka for a second, and then he recognizes Mina, and she recognizes him. Oh yeah, Mina was one of the main people who saw Izuku use his power for the first time by accident, as she is pretty much trying to fanboy, fangirl out with him when it comes to how similar. He can be from other heroes quirks, how he can use this and say that. And Oraka just feels insulted at everybody and I was like, wait, wait, wait a minute, how do you know each other? Oh, we met at the beach. What? So you two have seen each other in swimsuits? Yeah. Let's just say that the uniform doesn't do him justice. She, Mia says this in front of everybody. She she does not give two fucks right now. Oraka, she's pretty much looking up, up and down. Kind of jealous as hell. Also, there's nothing really she can do except for... Okay. So, um... Uh, what... Are you two... What? Friends? Yeah... Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, but we're good friends. Mina pretty much wrapping her arm around Izuku, mistakenly putting him right smack dab in the middle of the two mountains that Izuku is still not used to seeing, let alone being around. 
So he instantly tells her to back off. Mina, being her, she thinks this is adorable. Oraka, on the other hand, thinks this is okay. That's enough of that bullshit. As you would expect. <laughs> now, when it comes to the whole quirk apprehension test, yeah, that's a lot easier for Izuku. Since he doesn't have one for all, and instead has a whole new power, which is super strength, mixed in with chaos energy manipulation. Yeah! Boku wishes he could shoot the ball that far. Izuku, he uses super strength mixed in with the chaos energy, putting it into a chaos spear which goes far beyond what Bakugo could ever do, at least in this main timeline right now. And he's canon Bakugo at this point, he couldn't. <laughs> so yeah, he is shocked at this. He demands answers. As I was about to shut that down, but Izuku pretty much just bows his head saying, I'm sorry, I'm a late bloomer. As that is the end of that. All Might, though he... Eh, he does still have one for all. He doesn't know who to really give it to. Seeing Izuku like this, he's pretty much, hmm, maybe. I see great potential when it comes to him. The only thing is, it's pretty much, oh, but what is with that quirk of his? Huh? Oh, uh, Azawa! <laughs> uh, you should stop doing that. What? Spying on my class. Hey, you know I had to scout. Yeah, I know, but it's creepy. You're lucky I noticed you before someone else did. Or else they would call the authorities and you would have probably been arrested. Uh, what? They would. Just because you're a teacher. Just because you're not one hero does not mean you don't look creepy when you're just peeking behind corners and whatever. Right. Sorry. Don't don't apologize to me, just <sighs> Just stop doing it, that's all I ask. I thought uh, leaving all my feeling shame. Because of the locker room scene, Manetta does try people on the girls Izuku's like I would not do that if I were you. Why? Because someone's listening. Wait, what? As Izuku's eyes are glowing, as he notices, for lack of a better word, energy signatures, which come from the electromagnetic pulses that are emitted from the body. And he sees Jiro. Him warning Manetta, I was like, oh, come on, you, you don't know jack shit. It's nonsense. And he looks and gets his eye almost poked out completely. Izuku, with a slight smug attitude, says, I told you so. But then his eyes start glowing again, as then he sees Oraka. She's walking up straight to the, po the peephole. And Izuku thinks, okay, that's good. She's just gonna cover it up. She doesn't. Because when Izuku turns back around, he sees her looking straight through it. He sees her through the walls looking straight through it. As Jiro is pretty much like, what are you doing? It's like, I, um, an eye for an eye? What? An eye for an eye. As in, Mina just chimes in, makes the whole world blind. Okay, so. Uh, oh, now I get it. What? You want to get a better look of Izuku. What? 
<laughs> Wait, uh, but uh, what you talking about? No, no, of course not. If anything, I'm just trying to get back in my net off for trying to peep on us. Jiro already did that, so you don't have to do it. You can leave the people alone. Uh, okay, uh, so then what? What are you? What now? Oh, easy. I'm gonna melt it shut so no one can see through it anymore. What? You can? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, screwed over. Raka doing it. Jiro looking proud of Mina until they see the M Mina's taking a peek too, as she yells straight through the people, looking good, Izuku. And the amount of blush, the amount of red that is seen throughout Izuku's whole body, even Kirishima is like, wow. Uh, I thought tomatoes were red. That's that's just that's crimson. That's bloody red. What? Come on, man. You're supposed to strike a pose when she compliments you or something. Come on, man. Be manly. Uh, him just pulling off the all my pose while saying I am here Mina having no choice but to laugh her ass off as everyone else just cringes over this Bogo he's pretty much like how did I know you were going to do that He's even more embarrassed as he just goes into the showers and tries to cool off. Mina apologizes, but the damage has been done. Oraka's like, that was not cool. It's like, shut up, peeping Tom. Oh, wait. You're a girl. Uh, no, no, peeping Tom still works. Who are you to judge? Hey, I know him. I've seen that body already. What's your excuse? Uh... uh that's what I thought. As yeah, that is pretty much how that day ends. And Izuku, he's pretty much thinking, Ugh, uh, uh. today's been a, a one hell of a day. As then he notices something don't feel right. As he just runs straight to his backpack and sees, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, gone, it's gone. As then he runs out of the classroom trying to see, okay, where, where is it? Where could it have been? Where, who could have taken it? As then he sees Mina and runs straight towards her as a Mina, what? Have you seen the chaos emeralds? I mean, what? Uh. Hmm. What are you talking about? Izuku is trying to explain uh, something very important to him was taken and he needs to get it back quick. As then Mina is going to go. Uh, okay. And I'll. Sure, I can help you. As then he said, okay, you go this way, I go this way. But just then. Mina shows up. Like, uh, man, what happened? Yeah. Huh? As yeah, this is pretty much when, as you know, Toga is starting to swear bullets. Uh, look in the poster. Get her, Izuku. Mina, if you, how did we first meet? Uh, um, you know what? It's been so long since we met. I, it's been, <laughs> uh, give it back, whoever you are. Give, give more back! 
there's, there's nothing to get back. I, I didn't take it. As Toby just runs like hell. Only thing is, she's leaving a trail of clay or wherever that stuff is. And Izuku follows it until he meets a naked Toga. And he is freaking out. Because, yeah, really, nothing could prepare him from that. As she pretty much tosses a bag at him. Him getting hit right in the face and plummeting to the floor. This is when the real Mia shows up and rock kicks Toga. Er, that's so unfair. No, it's unfair. Showing I wait. Wait. What? As then she looks at Izuku's. Did you see? Her covering her herself was like. Wait, what do you mean? Did when I dropped kicked her, my skirt might have. Oh, did I see your pure black panties? Yes, but... <laughs> oh. <coughs> I mean, see what? Oh, it's too late. Her slapping Izuku, then her kicking him and stepping on him, yelling at him, forget what you saw. Like I did, I promise I didn't see your panties. I see your black lace panties. Stop describing them! And then she says, You know what? I'm going to stomp your head in to the memory is gone forever. What? Wait! She's getting away! Toga, pretty much. Whew! Thank you. Thank you, Skirts. You probably saved my ass. But, sadly. She didn't get very far because Izuku not only had gone more tuned to setting chaos energy, he's also hella fast and can fly. Not to mention his chaos spears are even faster. So yeah, Toga is pretty much stuck in I'm sorry. Okay, why'd you do this? What's your quirk? Um. Uh, well, I drink blood to assume someone's appearance. Oh, can you cover that quirk too? No, I, uh, I, I can't. I can't do that. Oh, that's a bummer. <coughs> Thief! Oh, oh yeah, right, right, right. right, right. So why did you do this? I like shiny things. Wait, how'd you know I even had it? <laughs> uh, let's just say while I was busy scoping out the beach, I saw you hold it. Wait, why are you at the beach? Wait, hey, I would have noticed you if... Let's just say I was incognito. What? You? So, let me get it straight. You? Yeah, I decided to take it, probably sell it, or keep it as a collection. So, you're a thief, thief. Yeah. And, hell, yeah, with a quirk like that. I would expect you to be pretty good at it. Oh, like you wouldn't believe. Hmm. But if anything, you did try your best. <laughs> I just didn't. Seriously, talk about bad timing from her. Just pointing at me and I was like, what? Yeah, I would have probably gotten away with it if it were for you just showing up out of nowhere. Thanks a lot for ruining my plan. Izuku just looking at me and I was like, You're right, you didn't have to do that. It's like, what about the things she stole from you? The whole reason why we were chasing after her? The reason why I drop kicked you? Or at least drop kicked her? Then be the shit out of you for looking at, at my. 
Oh yeah, right, right. Um, yes, I would like that back, please. Uh, fine. Him pretty much behind the jewelry box, and he's like, wait. Him opening it. Hmm. Okay. He grabs it. Where's the real one? What? Him shattering it within his hand. How would you know? I am not an idiot. Just having powder just be blown by the wind off his hand. Okay, okay, fine. Just don't do anything crazy. You're the one who... I get that. Can I at least get dressed first? As if you just remember, it's like, oh yeah, she's not wearing anything at all. So yeah, you can only imagine that. So, <clears throat> get my gemstone first. I uh, don't have it on me. Him just looking at her hair. What about that? Uh, what well, well, about what? Him pretty much just like, okay, fine, this is it. Him just sending out a wave of chaos energy as the chaos emerald does start glowing, reacting to it. Her like, wait, how are you doing that? Him pretty much gut chucking her and getting it from her hair. Uh, it did not have to be this difficult. Why would you have to make it difficult? As Mina is pretty much like, wait, how did you do that? Uh, oh, um, uh, I can explain. Please do. Um, okay, I have no real explanation for this, but besides, uh, uh, I spent a lot of time with this thing as he slowly starts to fall on one knee and start spitting up blood. Mina's like, wait, what's going on with you? He's like looking as his arm is starting to pulsate with veins as it's like, damn it! Jewelry box, where is it? Him placing it back in. What was that? <coughs> okay. I haven't been completely honest when it came to my powers. Okay, we can talk about that later, but what we do about as Toga is gone. Seemingly gone. You know she's hiding somewhere. As they she overhears like, okay, I'll explain everything. Maybe I dig up a beach and I'll uh, I'll share my secret with you. See you there, Izuku. Is it face to black? When they arrive, it's pretty much okay. So what about it? Catch her grabbing the emerald, but also it's like she feels an instant surge of power, in which she just tosses it back. And her acid starts going haywire. To much to her surprise, that thing evolved her quirk. Or at least enhanced it to a certain extent. Only thing is, she does not know how to control this. Izuku has to calm her down, but Sally gets sprayed with acid, causing his clothes to melt. I am so sorry. And what happened? Well, this thing is kind of like an enhancer, except if there's anything, it looks like it has a sub-power of life. Or a passive ability of it. So, what? Wait. Well, then why did it hurt you? Could be because this thing has a lot of power in it. Really? How much power? 
Ah, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Her pretty much being like, okay, so who else knows about this? Well, me and you. And my mom. And me too. Oh yeah, and her too. Her too. Wait, Toga. Wait, how are you? Wait, did you shapeshift into a trash can or something? Like, oh no. That's just a technique I learned. Helps with my, uh, you know, stealing activities. So, this thing can enhance quirks, huh? Yes. Hmm. So your quirk must be an energy manipulation type thing. Oh my. Don't, don't tell me. This thing gave you your powers, didn't it? I knew it! Heck, when I researched you, I thought something was off. Wait, you... You what? Oh, yeah. I researched all my possible targets. Why were you targeting me? That, whatever it is. Heck, I thought it would be worth a lot of money if I didn't choose to keep it for myself. But now, now that I know this, oh, it's going to be worth a whole lot more than I previously anticipated. Zuku pretty much clutching it. I, I can't let you take it. <laughs> let me. Let me. Are you serious? You think I need your permission? Do you really? <sighs> oh, so naive. As then Toga disappears out of nowhere after throwing sand in both Mina and Izuku's face. Izuku freaking out. Because now that she's gone, he has no idea where she's going to pop up next. Mina is pretty much trying to berate him for not seeing this coming. But also, like you can't talk e either. You're just as guilty as I am. Now. Though Izuku is very cautious of this, he's also... I might have a chance here. What? Him opening the box, picking up the cast and rolling. Uh, I'm gonna break it. What? What's gonna happen? It's like, I have no idea, as he's using what strength he can, but he's also inadvertently absorbing more of the Chaos of Emerald's energy to a point where it is hurting him. His veins and his arms are starting to bulge even more. He's starting to burst vessels. As, yes, Toga is pretty much saying, you are an idiot, kicking it out of his hand, and it goes flying somewhere in the sand. And yeah, Izuku and Mina are pretty much like, what did you do? Like, I just saved your ass. But it, what? Why? For well, one, you didn't know what the ramifications of breaking that thing could have done. If anything, you probably could have made it so you and her could have lost their, both your uh, powers. Not to mention, you could have killed yourself over this. Just so I wouldn't have it? How rude! I don't know what you would have done with it. I told you what I would have probably done. Sold it or kept it? Oh. <sighs> you are just too much to deal with. In the good way, or the... <laughs> you wish it was a good way. Hey, I just saved you. As then they hear a rumbling. In which... The beach starts to open up. Sand starts pouring down. As... 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. As Mina and Toka fall, as Zuku has to save them. One thing is, uh, when it comes to carrying people, he's never had to done, do that before. So he has to choose one. Only thing is, he doesn't want either of them to die or risk death. So if anything, he pulls a Toby Maguire Super, well, no, Spider Man moment, sorry, and saves both of them. In which Toga, being how she is, she gives him a kiss saying thank you. Mina, she feels like she just got beaten to the punch, but still kisses him and is like, thank you. But her kiss was a bit longer, making Toga kind of like, okay, you're gonna be, okay, you're fun. You're, you're, you're interesting at least. I like you. As they do arrive at the bottom of this metallic structure, as it just starts activating and says, Chaos Emerald has been acquired. Huh. Okay. Can I have it back? As yes. These arrows just point where the Chaos Emerald has been installed, and uh, Izuku and the others pretty much are like, Thank you. When they arrive, they see a generator powered by the Chaos Emerald, and they're pretty much thinking, okay, so where have we ended up? Mina, she's pretty much like, this is amazing, I wonder what else is here. Toga's like, I wonder what else I could steal. Uh, why are you so into stealing? I've been through some stuff. As a child, you wouldn't understand. I can't understand if you don't tell me. Oh, oh. You no, know yeah, I like you. Uh, wait, what? It's so good, just leaves it for another kiss, but me as a no. Just no. Okay, so. Robotic voice. You can call me artificial intelligence. Hmm. Artificial intelligence. How about I call you Alice? What? Wait. Do I sound like a... Well, change your voice. It having the most cutesy as feminine voice you could think of. Why? Why? Is... Never mind. Hey, you want you want a cutesy feminine? No, I said feminine. I didn't say nothing about cutesiness. I I just wanted you to change your voice to my name. Rude. Is he always this rude? Uh, them just nodding their heads. Yes. Izuku feeling a bit betrayed for a second. Like, at two, Mina? Mm. I'm still mad at you for taking a peek under my skirt. <gasps> Don't tell me my new my new operator is a pervert. I am not! I swear! No! That is that's the last thing on my mind is him actually taking a, a quick glance at me and I was like okay uh, either way what's uh, what's this about where are we then pretty much getting the rundown of how things are here that one so named Dr. Robotnik created only thing is uh, he was a bad person a very evil world dominating wanting multi universal pretty much threat he was also considered a genius but also an idiot when it comes to not wanting to heed warnings and think things through he also had some enemies of 
anthropomorphic animals, one so named Sonic the Hedgehog, and he wanted to collect all seven Chaos Emeralds. And wait, there are more of these things? Oh yes, one of them uh, could possibly destroy the planet, or at least bring in the seven pieces with all seven. Whew. That unless it's something new all together. You don't say. Oh yes. As they do get imagery of supersonic. Izuku seeing the golden hair, the red eyes, the flaming aura. It's like Wow, so he was beaten Well there's actually this is actually interesting, considering that no matter how powerful Sonic was when he took this form, he couldn't maintain it completely. What? Yes. If anything, it's almost like he had a time limit on how long he can use this infinite amount of power. Huh. That actually makes sense to me. What? Think of it like this. Yeah, heck, I almost died or at least lost an arm due to holding one of those things too much. I can't imagine what could happen to me if I didn't. You weren't saved by me, I know. Thank you. Yeah, you can thank me later. You're welcome. Not now, Toga. Either way, yeah, chances are I probably would have died if I hadn't let it go. But him absorbing all that energy, well, all seven of them at once, just from seeing this supersonic form, is proof that these things are very powerful. Really? What makes you say that? It had to change his whole appearance. Literally transform him into a being capable of at least harnessing its power. Even for a moment, at least. It's kind of like... Hmm, like, take the flaming aura. That's still technically chaos energy, if I can think about it. Really? Yeah. If anything, it's kind of like saying, yes, they'll gift you this power, but also, you might want to be careful when using it, type thing. Hmm. Yes. I guess that would make sense. I mean, even in this form, he does expel a lot of energy. I mean, with it being that he's... And not only invulnerable, but also his speed is also huh, not to mention very enhanced. Really? How so? Well, if anything, he could easily set, break the sound barrier with his in his base form, but with those, yeah, huh, not to mention chaos control. What's that? Oh yes, it's kind of like a... Um, you could say... Controlling space and time. I think technically you can do it at a smaller scale with at least one of them, but with all seven, who knows? Probably a whole planet or more? And then there's a Master Emerald. What? Uh, do I have to tell you about everything from the past? Uh, no, but I would like to know about it if you, you're you willing to tell them. It's pretty much Izuku getting a history lesson of things from before. And he's pretty much... All set to uh, write as many notes as possible. Hey, is there a place where I can train in here? 
what operator you can call me Izuku hmm Izuku this facility is now yours it's if anything it's really one of a uh, Dr. Robotics more leisure based homes and uh, robot factories what oh yes he really liked using robots to do his dirty work considering he said so organic to he's any organic that wasn't himself as inferior yeah don't get me wrong, he had a genius level RQ. The only thing is, you know, that overconfidence could be very draining. Even for those who don't really have true sentience, like you primates. <coughs> Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. Humans. You have to forgive me. I am kind of, uh out of it after being asleep for oh. actually how long has it been so long so many wait 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 so what's this facility doing on earth wait how come we don't have any records of anthropomorphic animals or th easy History books are written by the ones who survive. At least the winners. Chances are they were just uh, tossed to the wind and forgotten. <sighs> I mean, there are so many of his facilities throughout the world that he built. So much equipment that he didn't created and probably never used because <laughs> he was a hoarder at times but if anything yeah world domination was definitely one of his main you know, reasons for doing what he done if not he also enjoyed trying to kill Sonic and his friends as well as trying to conquer not only Earth but other dim Mentions, universes, galaxies, yada yada yada. Okay, this Dr. Robotnik seems very smart, but also very uh, ambitious. Yeah, you have no idea. If anything, back in the day, he wouldn't actually risk uh, his life and limb. Just to get closer to his goal. Or at least he had no problem sacrificing his robots. Wow. Yep. Sometimes he even threatened to throw us to the scrap heap. Or melt us down, destroy us. Which Sonic and his friends will always do regardless. If we do what he says. So. It was a vicious cycle. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. Either way, so you want somewhere to train. I believe there is a place like that. Around here. Allow me to bring up a map or something. This will only take a moment. As, yeah, there is this whole directory in which you can imagine. There's a food court, a gym, a shit ton of other things, observatory, laboratory, robotics lab. I mean, Eggman really wanted to be comfortable here. Hell, even has some of his spaceships. Which, of course, as you can imagine, Mina is going batshit crazy. But then, when it comes to the spa... He's pretty much. I'm so happy I met you, Izuku. Really? Yes. Being associated with you is the best thing that ever happened to me. 
her just giving him a real French kiss, but with less tongue. Even Toga is pretty much shocked by this mission. She's like, wow, you thirsty as hell. Yeah, I'm going to a food court. You want to come too? Seriously? Yeah, why not? I guess we can try to get along. Seriously. Hey. It's your choice, regardless. Either or. I'm having as much fun as I can. Like, how, how long can you keep this place running? Indefinitely. Especially with this Chaos Emerald powering me. Really? Wait. Does any of the food expire or anything? It's like, oh no, it's synthesized. Dr. Robotnik is actually created a fabricator to make it so he didn't have to go out for groceries. Really? So what about other luxurious... Uh, oh. If anything, it probably needs a lot of cleaning. In which, all I have to do is activate the cleaning squad. I believe you are recognized as the new operator, so no issues should uh, occur. We shouldn't be trying to clean you out. Isuku, I love you. Wait, what? <laughs>